Hello everyone, my name is Sulav. I am the cyber security expert. So you are watching this video today because you might have gone through about job opportunities in this Splunk tool on various job portal or any of your friend might have told you about the opportunity in Splunk or you might have done some research over the internet that Splunk has the huge demand in the market nowadays, especially in the field of cyber security. So I'm creating this video today so, so that I can let you know, know more about Splunk tool and what is the purpose of using Splunk. So Splunk is an American company which started in around 2003 but Splunk is booming in the market since last 2013-14 uh, I'm seeing and as per the Gartner report also. Splunk is on leader coordinate. Splunk is leader since last 7 to 8 years. So, uh, the, if you talk about the demand, there is huge demand uh, on the Splunk uh, in the market nowadays. Many companies are looking, uh, you know, uh, for people who are the expert or who are working on the Splunk. Companies are ready to pay anything if you have knowledge, if you have experience on the Splunk. <coughs> so, Splunk is a, is a centralized tool which has ability to, to collect the real-time blocks from various devices such as network device, security devices, servers, application, as well as from any device, any machine which generate the data, right? So Splunk uh, can receive the logs event from all those machines which generate the data and it enables you searching and reporting. It enables you searching and reporting, that means you can gather the logs from various different, different devices on the Splunk, right? And you can search search the logs whatever you required and you can create good dashboard visualization as well as from security perspective you can monitor uh, your network 24 by 7 for any kind of suspicious activities so this is this is what uh, we achieve from the splunk so splunk uh, a broadly we you classified splunk so splunk we can use for two purpose one is as a data analytics tools one is as the data analytics tools and one is as an SIM tools. If you talk about data analytics tools, we know right in the market uh, nowadays in, in the digital era, uh, all the devices, all you have like let's say uh, any, any kind of digital devices like not only network security device service applications, but any of the digital devices, whatever activity we do, right, um, it, it records in the form of logs, it, in, in the form of activities, right, which is kind of evidence which reveals what activity happen on the device right so each and every device in each and every digital devices record their activities in the form of logs in the form of event right so splunk can receive those activities logs on it so that you can come to know what activity happened on those, those devices if if later on you want to search what activity happened you can just log in on the uh, you know on the splunk and search it out right you don't have to log in on each and every devices to understand what happened on those devices so data analytics tools if you talk about splunk can receive the data from any kind of machine which generate the data let's take an example uh, uh, let's take an example of pizza hut so i'm explaining you here how, what uh, how we can use splunk as the data analytics tools so let's take an example of Pizza Hut. Uh, uh, let's say a Pizza Hut is having hundred of outlets in India, right? One outlet they have in necessarily out Bangalore and multiple location in Bangalore as well as hundred of location in India, right? So now uh, a Pizza Hut owner wants to wants to know every day that uh, in in which in which outlet most of sales happen. In the sense, which outlet generates most of the revenue today? And which pizza has been sold most? What are the top 10 pizza which have been sold? Which, when, when particular outlets close taking the, uh, stop taking the orders, right? To understand these kind of information, so they have to call every outlets or every outlet has to send the report to, you know, uh, to the owner, right? To the, uh, to the managing director to, to tell that what kind of activity happen which puja has been sold most and everything right it's very difficult to call them and and to get the report from each and every outlets right so in this case if we have the splunk what you can do is uh, we can you know integrate uh pizza hut pos machine pos machine in the sense uh point of sales machine right you order pizza 
whenever you go to pizza outlet you you give money and they select from pos machine you see computer kind of display machine you see there right so whatever you order they they select from the pos machine and and give will give one kind one kind of receipt right so that is called as PO, pos machine right point of sales machine so once you order point of sales machine will take your order and it will generate one event also which will capture at what time order has been placed and watch pizza you have order what was the cost of cost of the that pizza right so uh, apart from that some, some other activities will be recorded in the form of logs right so if you have integrated pos machine with this plunk that means once you order at the same time pos machine will generate the log and it will send the logs to the splunk Similarly, not only one POS machine, we will be integrating all the POS machine with the Splunks. So whenever any outlets, you know, uh, record the order, it will send the real time logs to the Splunk, right? So now we have hundred of the outlets and all the POS machine in all the outlets are forwarding the real time logs to the Splunk, right? Now end of the day, you can log into the Splunk or anytime you can log into the Splunk and you can search. You can give the PU, uh, outlet's name, which is also recording the form of logs, and you can search what pizza has been sold most, how many order has been generated, because all has been sold in the form of logs. How many order has been generated? Uh, what are the top ten pizza has been sold? Or in all the or all the outlet, what are the top ten pizza has been sold? Total, how many revenue has been generated today, including all the outlets? right so you can you, uh, you can uh, you know do do the search centralized search you can do as well as you can create the visualization you can create the dashboard what are the top 10 pizzas what are the top 10 outlets which are generating most of the revenue which top which which you know uh, which outlets open earlier which uh, you know outlets closed early right so these kind of various searching and reportings dashboard visualization you can create a splunk if you are using splunk as a data analytics tools data analytics means, means analyzing the data means can create the can receive the logs from any kind of device any kind of machine which generate the data and you can do some kind of analytics you can use this plunk for troubleshooting perspective also there are various devices if you have uh, in your in your uh, in your company various digital devices for any activities happening they record the activities if you send the record activities on the splunk you can use it for troubleshooting perspective also when machine is started when machine shut down if any critical uh, you know uh, activity happen those also record will be sent to the splunk and you can search on the splunk what went wrong so that is the another use of splunk uh, and uh, so Splunk can be used as a data analytics as well as an SIM tool. If you talk about SIM tool, SIM in the sense security information and event management. So initially when you know when Splunk has been you know uh, innovated, started, Splunk used to use only uh, as a data analytics tools. Later on Splunk found that nowadays companies are using the similar kind of tools to collect the data, uh, collect the real time logs from network device, security device, servers, applications and all. Then Splunk thought that we are already collecting the logs from various different devices. So let's let's create a way so that it can you know collect the logs from network and security devices as well. Right. So Splunk has another use is Splunk as an SIM tools. That means Splunk now can receive the logs, real time logs from network devices, security devices, servers, application databases. Right. And once it receives the logs, it will, uh, you know, uh, normalize the logs in the sense it will, uh, you know, convert the device specific field set with the Splunk defined common field set. Right. And make the logs more readable and more understandable. Once it collect the logs, it normalize the logs and it keep the log for a long time. You can keep the logs which has been, you know, uh, which has been received from end devices for the long time. Let's, let's say for one year, two years, three years, five years, ten years, based on a company requirement, based on the compli compliance requirement, as well as it gives the searching and reporting feature. That means any device which has been integrated, you can search the log on the Splunk. You need not to log in on the end device. As well as one important feature is real-time monitoring, correlation and alerting. So using the Splunk, since you are receiving the logs from all network device, security device, servers, application, databases, etc., which is the part of your typical IT infrastructure. You can monitor all the activities happening across the network. You can monitor any kind of suspicious activities happening across your network using the Splunk tool.
right you don't have to log in on each and every device instead you just log in on the splunk and see what kind of activity is happening across your network so splunk also enables you as an sim tools real time monitoring correlation and alerting that means you can write certain correlation rule you can write certain well well known policy well known pattern log pattern on the splunk if certain pattern that is called as correlation rule matches it will trigger an alert because it is very difficult to keep an eye on each and every logs because your splunk or as an sim tools receive the logs crores of logs from different different devices so it's very difficult to identify which activity is malicious and which activity is you know valid activities right so what we can do is we can write some pre known suspicious activities condition on the splunk right so if that pattern that condition matches it will trigger an alert let's say uh, you understand that if uh, you know if there are 100 logins or 50 login from particular user login attempt failed from particular user right it it is suspicious activities because user will not try 100 times 50 times within a short period of time let's like, say so within a minute to login if user forgot username or password for and he tried two three times if login fail he will call to service desk team to reset the password but at the same time if uh, from same username hundred of failures event have been generated within a short period of time there might be possible that at, uh, any uh, uh, maybe bad people attackers are doing some brute force to gain the unauthorized access so if you are seeing uh, if logs are coming from particular particular username that one particular user has tried more than 50 times or 100 times to log in on particular uh, using particular user more than 100 times it can be brute force attack right so we can write the rule on the splunk that from particular username same username and there are more than 50 attempts within 1 minute or 2 minute then it can be suspicious activities in that case it should trigger an alert right so those alert we can monitor on the splunk and dig down investigate further and if you found that it is suspicious activities we can take the action or we can uh, you know assign that incident to the respective team for further action so so that is that is the use of splunk as an sim tools so if you are the part of cyber security team uh, we are using splunk as an sim which is the part of soc soc team security operation center team which monitor the sim tool 24 by 7 uh, for any kind of security activities activities in case of any alert trigger they will take the action so if you learn the splunk right you can get the job in the field of cyber security as an sim tool or you can even get the job for the data analytics perspective so uh, so this is just a brief about uh, you know splunk if you want to become the ex, uh, you know ex, expert on the splunk or you want to start your career with the splunk either in a cyber security or a data analytics tools we have in depth training on the splunk and it's completely real time training what experience people are actually doing in the company all we are going to cover here practically and you will be doing the hands on on the lab environment here we have the completely real kind of setup for splunk enterprise as well as more importantly splunk enterprise security which is actually the part of sim tool majority of the institution might give you this splunk training but that will be only on the splunk enterprise how to use splunk as an as an data analytics tools but here we are completely giving in depth training on the splunk enterprise security also which is actually the sim tool so splunk enterprise security is 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 a premium tool premium app which require the premium license which is not free while splunk enterprise uh, you know uh, is a free trial available so most of the institutes you know trained on the free version of the splunk but until unless you are not trained if you don't have experience on the splunk security it will be difficult for you to get the job on the uh, sns splunk sim so if you want to know more about the training you can uh, see uh, on the description uh, our link is there for the website and my contact number is also there you can contact me if you want in depth training on the splunk okay thank you everyone for joining if you want to uh, you know uh, go through more such videos Uh, 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 as uh, more such video for this plank or or the cyber security video you can subscribe this channel okay thank you everyone bye bye